Now as the final step in the coin caliper project, let's add some output devices, in particular the MyRio onboard LEDs. These will indicate whether or not the coin is smaller or larger than 23 millimeters. So the measurement is based on this diameter indicator right there. Let's come back to the block diagram, look for the MyRio sub palette, looking for onboard devices and then LEDs. I'm going to disable LED 1 and 2, making use of just 0 and 3. Open up a little room inside the processing loop. We'll place that Express VI right there. Next, I'm looking for the comparison subpalette. We'll pull out the greater than, and I'll be comparing the measured diameter against the threshold value of 23 millimeters. Use a constant for that purpose. Now the Boolean output of this comparison will be true when the diameter exceeds 23, and that will activate LED zero. I'm going to use a not function here, and that will cause the other LED to be active when LED zero is not active. So one or the other is going to be active at all times. I'm also going to create some front panel indicators just to reflect the state of the two external LEDs that you'd be able to see on your own MyRio. And I'll simply call those the same names, LED0 and LED3. And again, these LEDs are more cosmetic in nature. They, they allow me to show you the state of the actual MyRio LEDs. Let's do a new compile and then deploy on the MyRio. And let's see, the Euro coin, a little bit less than 23, so the LED 0 is off and LED 3 is on. There's a dime coming in at 17 millimeters. Let's try a larger coin. All right, that's activating LED zero now. And let's just try one more coin, almost 30 millimeters. All right, this concludes the coin caliper project. And if you've been following along through all of the steps, one through seven, congratulations. You've now finished the design and development of your first machine vision application.